Hello and thanks to you at home for joining us. In this episode, we will answer the question, is an air purifier necklace for COVID effective? But before we get started, please remember to like, share, leave a positive comment, subscribe and click the bell notification to our channel so we can continue to bring you the latest health and fitness products to improve the lives of your loved ones and yourself. We greatly appreciate it. All right, let's begin. Protecting against viruses and other pollutants has become increasingly popular, especially now due to the overwhelming rise of the COVID-19 pandemic and the even more dangerous Delta variant. As a result, some people have taken to wearing small, air purifier necklaces. Because they are small, lightweight, portable, and are reasonably priced, people would assume that they are an excellent choice for defeating viruses, but are they really? Even celebrities and high-profile political figures are latching on to the trend. An air purifier necklace was even photographed around the neck of the Philippines' President Rodrigo Duterte, while attending meetings in the country and while traveling to India. Although these portable air purifier necklaces claim to work, the real question is whether or not they do. So, is a wearable air purifier necklace for COVID effective? In this episode, we will delve deep and let you know exactly what air purifier necklaces are, how they work, and whether or not these devices are effective at protecting against viruses, PM2.5, and other pollutants. Please keep in mind that air purifier necklaces work in a different way than traditional home air purifiers. In order to filter out pollutants from the air, air purifier necklaces utilize ionization technology, which we'll discuss in more detail in just a moment. The vast majority of plug-in, portable home air purifiers, on the other hand, rely on HEPA filter technology to filter out pollutants and contaminants, although there are some that utilize ionizers as well. When you wear a purifier necklace that uses ionizers, it supposedly purifies the air around you by releasing thousands of microscopic ions into the air every minute, which helps to minimize pollution in a small perimeter around your body. These ions are released into the atmosphere and attach themselves to pollutants in the air, imbuing them with a static charge in the process as a result. These microscopic, charged particles are more likely to attach themselves to whatever is in close proximity to them, in the same way that a balloon attaches itself to a wall, after it has been statically charged. To determine the efficacy of four top-selling air purifier necklaces, scientists in China and California recently conducted a research study in which they tested four different models. In a small, enclosed chamber, roughly the size of a dog kennel, each air purifier necklace was placed individually to test its effectiveness. The researchers then tested how well each portable air purifier performed in terms of removing small particles from the air. It is likely that you will be shocked by the results, cheesy pun intended. All four of the air purifier necklaces tested in this study eliminated less than 10% of the particles that were only 20 centimeters away from them in this enclosed, dog kennel-sized space. Comparatively, while wearing a mask provides nearly 95% virus protection, the necklaces tested provided only around 10% protection, which is completely inadequate. Then, the same air purifier necklaces were tested in a much smaller chamber that had no moving air at all, and this test resulted in even lower results for the purifiers tested. In the real world, meaning around your neck and on your body, it's likely that these air purifier necklaces would perform even worse if they were worn around your neck all of the time, as is the case with many other electronic devices. The results of independent testing revealed that air purifier necklaces are ineffective, to say the least, at purifying the air they circulate. But, and it's a big but, some people might say, what's the harm in giving one of these little air purifiers a shot? I mean, isn't using a portable air purifier necklace and getting 10% protection preferable to doing nothing at all in this situation? Stick with me now and we'll find out if they are truly worth it or if they are just a colossal waste of money. Aside from the fact that recent research has shown air purifier necklaces are ineffective at cleaning the air, there are even more issues to be concerned about, so let's talk about those right now. We've seen that air purifier necklaces don't really work as well as they are promoted to work, it has been revealed through other investigations that air purifier necklaces can generate a dangerous substance, called ozone. Ozone is a molecule composed of three atoms of oxygen. Two atoms of oxygen form the basic oxygen molecule, the oxygen we breathe that is essential to life. The third oxygen atom can detach from the ozone molecule and reattach to molecules of other substances, thereby altering their chemical composition. 
It is this ability to react with other substances that forms the basis of air purifier necklace manufacturers' claims. The same chemical properties that allow high concentrations of ozone to react with organic material outside the body give it the ability to react with similar organic material that makes up the body and potentially cause harmful health consequences. When inhaled, ozone can damage the lungs. Relatively low amounts can cause chest pain, coughing, shortness of breath and throat irritation. Ozone may also worsen chronic respiratory diseases such as asthma and compromise the ability of the body to fight respiratory infections. People vary widely in their susceptibility to ozone. Healthy people, as well as those with respiratory difficulty, can experience breathing problems when exposed to ozone. Exercise during exposure to ozone causes a greater amount of ozone to be inhaled and increases the risk of harmful respiratory effects. Recovery from the harmful effects can occur following short-term exposure to low levels of ozone, but health effects may become more damaging and recovery less certain at higher levels or from longer exposures, according to the EPA. Some disreputable manufacturers and vendors of ozone devices often use misleading terms to describe ozone. Terms such as energized oxygen or pure air suggest that ozone is a healthy kind of oxygen. Don't fall for this. Ozone is a toxic gas with vastly different chemical and toxicological properties from oxygen. To make matters even worse, the actual amount of ozone produced by these air purifier necklaces may differ significantly, so you really have no way of knowing for certain what levels of ozone are being produced by your air purifier necklace. Every ionizer generates a different amount of ozone and have been shown to emit harmful levels of ozone not only onto your body, but also into the surrounding environment. It's quite possible that, when air purifier necklaces are used in smaller enclosed spaces like your car or office, the ozone concentration that is generated could rise to a seriously harmful level and could cause respiratory problems or illnesses. And it gets worse. It has also been found that the ozone produced by air purifier necklaces has the potential to pose even more serious and significant health risks to the wearer. Further research shows that ozone can react with terpenes. Terpenes are highly aromatic compounds that determine the smell of many plants and herbs, such as rosemary and lavender, as well as some animals. Manufacturers use isolated terpenes to create the flavors and scents of many everyday products, such as perfumes, body products, and even foods. These terpenes play a vital role in plants. In some plants, terpenes attract pollinators, while in other plants, they cause a strong reaction to repel predators, such as insects or foraging animals. Some terpenes play a protective role in the plant, helping the plant to recover from damage, others act as a part of the plant's immune system to keep away infectious germs. Terpenes are found in a variety of personal care products that you probably use every day, including lotions, perfumes, makeup, and other scented products. Additionally, these ozone reactions can result in the formation of PM2.5 particulate matter. This PM2.5 particulate matter can be hazardous due to the release of volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, such as formaldehyde, into the atmosphere. And remember, these occurrences would take place in the vicinity of your head. Not good. They work by causing pollution to adhere to adjacent surfaces, thereby removing it from the air they are used to clean. When the nearest surface is your own body however, there is a potential problem. When you wear an ionizer air purifier, the pollution sticks to your face, body, and clothes because the air purifiers act as magnets for the pollution. The result of this can be soiled clothes and skin, or even breathing in higher concentrations of pollutants than you would normally breathe. The bottom line is that wearable ionizer air purifiers have been found to be ineffective at purifying the air that they circulate. These portable purifiers also emit potentially harmful ozone, which may have a negative impact on the health of the person who is wearing one of them. Well that's it for today's episode. I hope that this information will be useful in helping you to determine whether or not an air purifier necklace for COVID is effective. Thanks for taking the time to watch this episode. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a positive comment, and click the notification bell to our channel so we can continue to bring you the latest health and fitness products to improve the lives of your loved ones and yourself. We greatly appreciate it. See you in the next episode.